Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be slaying a bob from start to finish. So as you guys can see, this one is a kinky straight bob lace wig in the length 12 inches. And as you guys can see, she's nice, full and gorgeous. We are starting off at the sink and this is like the inside of the cap. It is a lace closure wig opposed to like a lace frontal wig and I'll talk about that in just a moment. So for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and use my holding spray and just kind of spray the hairline and like brush the hair backwards. What I'm doing here is you guys seen there was ample amount of baby hair and you kind of want to clean up the hairline and have everything going in the same direction. And and that is because we are bleaching knots. If you want a detailed, in-depth tutorial on how to bleach your knots, I have a few on my channel and I just did a recent one about a week ago. So of course I'll leave that in the description box and in that you'll be able to learn how to do this at home all by yourself. Super easy and beginner friendly. So I went ahead and made my mix and I am just applying it to the entire lace. So this one is a six inch deep part lace front wig. When usually when you have a frontal wig, you'll have like 13 by six going from ear to ear. You do have the 13 inch across um, from ear to ear, but it only goes back since six inches of parting space in the very center. So if you wanted to do like a deep side part, you guys can see it doesn't go all the way back since six inches from ear to ear. It seems like literally on the side, like where I am right now, that's probably about two inches. And in the very center you have your six so this is gonna work amazing for those of you who are not interested in doing like a, a deep side part if you will now I'm gonna go ahead and let the mixture sit for about 20 minutes then I went ahead and rinse it out wash with purple shampoo and condition the entire wig then of course I went ahead and let it air dry on the mannequin head and now we are here so lately I never ever ever um, straighten my wigs without using a product and the product I normally use is a heat protectant so I went ahead and and applied that brushed it in really goodly and I'm pretty much going to show you guys what the hairline looks like now it is pre plucked as you guys can see I would always recommend that you go in and customize your wigs yourselves so even though this has a nice pre plucked area um, definitely go in and customize it to your liking for the sake of this video I definitely did not but again I always recommend that you do so I'm gonna do like a nice silk press to the entire wig starting from the back and section the wig part by part or little by little and working my way to the top we finally made it to the top which actually took a while because this one is nice and full and of course it is a kinky straight wig so of course it needs a little bit more for that but of course if you want to wear this as like an actual kinky um, wig like how it was in its natural state I kind of feel like it's more of an afro vibe which is not really what I wanted to go for I literally just wanted to have the kinky texture but it still be straight and to me this mimics African American hair texture the most and of course I did use the chase method and this is just going to help me to get the um, best result you can see the smoke and again this is because I did use a heat protectant and this is pretty much the heat protectant doing its job but I'm not burning the hair by any means So for the hairline, I kind of make it look really good by using a wax stick. I apply a little bit around the hairline, brush it in and even it out. And then I use my electric hot comb to go ahead and sew that in and make everything flat and smooth. You see those little puff balls? That is my big girl, my oldest daughter. And as you guys, you probably can't tell on camera, but it really just make a huge difference as far as kind of getting rid of the flyaways and making everything look smooth and neat and pressed out. We are going to be doing all of the install process on camera, but I do like to prep most of the wig on the mannequin head. So I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side and then we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace.
So now we're cutting off the excess lace and I'm going to use an eyebrow razor. Now normally I recommend you cut the lace off on the hairline because you really want to cut the lace off to fit in shape, fit the shape of your hairline. And this is going to make it a little bit more mannequin like or uniform. But I thought I would just show you guys a different way. If you are uncomfortable with cutting the lace off on your hairline, this is definitely a safer way to do it because you can actually see what's going on. You can have, you know, a little bit more control. So if you are a beginner, this is a good idea to do it on the mannequin head. But again, for the best result and have the most, um, you know, like custom, natural looking hairline, you definitely want to do this and cut along your own hairline. And as you guys can see, it is super, super easy this way. You can literally see exactly what you're doing, but you'll also see the difference with the hairline when I put it on and how boxy it looks. And that's the only con I get from it. So this is what the wig should look like at this point. If you want to make it glueless at this step, go ahead and add an elastic band. In this case, I chose not to, but this is what we look like a little bit crazy, but we're going to go ahead and bond her on. You guys can kind of see how um, like boxy it looks like this isn't the natural shape of my hairline and it may not be the shape of yours. You can go in and customize it a little bit more, but I am very messy applying my adhesive let that get tacky and bond the wig down now with the um adhesive of choice of mine this is only going to last for a day and i'm going to have to reply reapply daily if you don't want to have to do that again make it glueless by adding the elastic band and you won't have to add any product at all and of course customize the wig around your ears so that it'll fit super nice and sleek and flawless so for the mannequin head, I did do a center part, which as you guys can see was a little bit off, but I decided I wanted to do a side part. Again, I told you guys this is a lace front wig and you can't go ear to ear with the deep six inch parting. So I did a side part, but this was kind of the furthest I can go to the side. I couldn't really go too deep because it didn't go back six, six inches any further than this. Nonetheless, I made it work and it looked pretty good. Again, I'm using that wax and my heat to mold the wig into the shape and everything that I wanted. We're gonna do a feather and then I decided I didn't wanna do the feather so I did go ahead and straighten it back out. And you all, see, you all will see that along the way. Also, don't forget to add your powder to your hairline and your parting. I did so on and off camera and it turned out amazing. So here I am blending my hairline and my forehead. There was no makeup on my forehead and I know that was bugging you guys because it was bugging me. But I went ahead and added my powder and I just literally took my foundation uh, powder brush and I just kind of buffed my forehead and kind of buffed it around the hairline and that way everything will blend perfectly. Also, I'm going to take a contour powder in the parting to make the parting look a little bit better. This is what we look like with the feather bang. I absolutely loved it but because it wasn't a deep side part I kind of felt like it looked a little bit weird from certain angles so I'm gonna go ahead and just bump the ends um, and it's gonna make it look even better more straight 
and then once um you do this it still has enough body to where if you want to flip it back into the feather it still has the body for it but it just looks a lot more better sleek nice super 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 sleek bob absolutely loved this look and of course it has that kinky texture so it is more uh realistic to my own texture of hair and this is the box that the wig came in of course and they of course give you their wig caps and an elastic band so make sure you keep a hold of that for your glueless installs and yeah and that's pretty much it just stay tuned for my thoughts on this wig and as you guys can see when you add powder it kind of blends with your skin tone a little bit more Okay, so that pretty much was it. Um, this is the packaging that the wig came in. And you guys already seen the box. This one is their Kinky Straight Bob in the length 12 inches. And it's a size medium cap. And the parting is 13 by 6 in the length. Now, I kind of feel like the parting looks a little bit funky right there. It could be because of my cap or my braids. I'm not sure. But you can just take a little bit of powder and fix that super easy. As you guys see in the video, I did do a feather bang at first and I loved the way that looks. But when I went ahead and pretty much straightened it back out, I really loved the way it looked as is as well. It kind of has an asymmetrical situation going on, but not too much. Like if you tilt, it looks asymmetrical, but when you go straight on, it kind of is a little bit more blunt. I did bump the ends a little bit so you guys can see how that looks and it looks absolutely beautiful. You can also switch up the parting if you would like and of course the hairline came super natural. If you want you can go ahead and tint the lace so that you don't have to add powder. I just went ahead and used the powder because it's super simple and easy and I did just place an order for a few different lace tints to try them out for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Again, this one did come from Delago, so make sure you check them out. Link in bio for this one. Again, this one did come from Delago. You guys know I work with this company often, so make sure you check them out. I have the link in the description bar as well as a list of everything I use to complete this look. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.